Here is how to get a handle on uncontrolled type 2 diabetes, by working with your doctor. It is very important, that you understand type 2 diabetes, so that you can prevent complications in the long term, as uncontrolled diabetes can easily be controlled if you're proactive. Know your blood sugar goals. All physicians are different. Some doctors treat more aggressively than others. For some doctors, an A1C of below 7% is good. While others treat more aggressively, and aim for an A1C of below 6%. Personally, I find that many of the doctors, who I work with who are on the cutting edge of type 2 diabetes, treat to an A1C of below 6%. The second test your physician will look at, is your fasting blood glucose levels. Normal fasting levels, are below 100 mg per deciliter. And borderline ranges, are between 100 and 126 mg per deciliter. The goal is to get your blood sugar levels in the normal ranges, and keep them there. Whether with diet, exercise and or medication, a physician's goal will be, to get and maintain your blood sugar levels, as close to normal levels as possible, to prevent long-term complications. Know your cholesterol numbers. There are a few things, that you want to know when it comes to cholesterol. HDL, LDL, triglycerides, and total cholesterol. Here are the numbers, you want, when it comes to cholesterol. LDL cholesterol, should be below 100 mg per deciliter. HDL cholesterol, should be about 40 mg per deciliter. Triglycerides, should be below 150 mg per deciliter. And total cholesterol, should be below 200 mg per deciliter. Know your blood pressure. Most diabetics, have cardiovascular problems as a result of high blood sugar. Ideally, you want your numbers below 130 over 80. This is the target recommended by the ADA. Make sure, you know what your numbers are. Know what causes your blood sugar to rise. Usually, the following things will cause your blood sugar to rise. Sedentary lifestyle with no exercise, missing medication if you're on medication, stress, and eating meals or snacks with too many carbohydrates. Although type 2 diabetes, and the types of foods you eat, affect everyone differently, for the most part, there are certain things that cause your blood sugar to drop. They are as follows. Exercise. Vigorous exercise causes the most drop. Missing a meal or snack. Certain medications. And lower carbohydrate intake. When it comes to medications that lower your blood sugar, the main thing physicians are worried about is hypoglycemia. This generally means, your blood sugar drops too low, to dangerous levels. The problem with low blood sugar is, it usually is accompanied with dizziness, fainting, sweating, and other more severe symptoms. Ask your doctor for a referral. Certified diabetes educators, are a good resource for those who are overwhelmed, or need assistance with diabetes care. I recommend you ask your doctor to refer you to one, because they can help a great deal. Prior to using any of this advice, please consult with your physician. For more information on controlling type 2 diabetes naturally, visit DiabetesDietCures.net now.